Hi everyone, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. I don't know how long this week's video is gonna be, but I thought I would go ahead and get started today by sorting out my window situation because I have a lot of seedlings and not a lot of window, so I need to rearrange some things. So that's gonna be what the first project is. Um, it's kind of nasty and rainy today, so I still I still have things I need to do outside. That's not happening today. That's gonna happen another time this week. So that'll be later. Um, that'll be later in the video if if I get around to it. So, but yes, I thought I would show you real quick kind of what the situation is with the window, and then just kind of jump into moving things. So as you can see. The bay window is full of things and then I had borrowed these two TV trays from my grandmother, shout out to grandma, um, for, to, just to create extra room. It This is not big enough anymore because I have since moved my bunny's tails grass into these terracotta pots here and I also have a uh, tomato plant that's not doing so well and then I also have these these things in my newspaper pots and actually a pretty a pretty decent tomato plant well I mean they're all decent but like living this one is living its best life so yeah situation just is not that this window ain't big enough for all of us If you want the truth, I'm not impressed. <laughs> but what I need to do likely is pot some of the, put some of these in bigger containers. Um, I think that's probably what I need to do. In the meantime, I no longer have to keep things on my coffee table. I think the only thing that I've realized in this in the last couple weeks is I have a problem. 
Today is Thursday and it is what I refer to as a deceptively sunny day here in Metro Detroit, but we've had like rain and also really cold temperatures. It's still cold, but it's sunny out, so I'm gonna take it. I've already mowed. I've already pruned the roses and hydrangeas out the front. Now it's gonna be time for me to prune the lavender and the, the other hydrangeas that I have next to the garage. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm done chopping. As you can see, I, I was a little more delicate with the hydrangeas because they're pretty small and they don't have a ton of, um, I just kind of chopped off the, the ends. Um, and then with the lavender, this one right here, which I don't remember what variety it is. I was extremely ruthless and I wasn't much more delicate with this one. This one just is doing a little better than the other one, so. Fingers crossed, we'll get some new growth and we'll be able to take some cuttings here in June. Um, but I don't, I don't know, we'll see, we'll find out. It's chilly, my nose is dripping, I'm gonna go inside. All right, we're gonna do a seedling update and then I'm gonna wrap up here. Um, and then I'll start talking about what the plans are for next week. So, anyway. Let's let's go ahead and we'll do we'll do the seedling update. Here is the totally unimpressive new setup with the card table in place of the TV trays is what I have. Um, I can get those TV trays back to Grandma here shortly. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. So I need to do I need to turn things around because you know everything here is doing its utmost to reach the sunshine. So I think what I'll probably do is move some of this stuff over. I'll open up my front door and put some of it on the floor there too so it can get a little better exposure. Um, tomatoes, pretty robust. This calendula, which is the calendula resina, is doing, doing quite good. Some of it may be doing better than others. This one is like, I don't know, this one, meh. I got some cinnamon basil. I pinched it earlier this week. So now it'll probably start branching, but it just was getting really tall. 
kind of leggy. <clears throat> so this is flowers. I took a Snapdragon yesterday out, yes, and I put it in a newspaper pot and I gave it to a co-worker um, because he has a new garden bed in his at his house and so I gave him a snapdragon and some basil to plant in there. He was really excited. So fingers crossed it makes it back to his house and he doesn't, well I'm not worried about him killing it but anybody who's a beginner gardener knows I feel like that you can kill your plants by caring too much. This poor big rainbow tomato is not doing well. So I potted it up into a bigger container and we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. This is, what kind of tomato is this? This one's a black cherry. Doing quite nice. I could probably pot that one up a little bit, bury its stem a little deeper. I think these are leeks. They could be onions. I still don't know. Um, but they're getting, they're, I don't know, they look robust. They, they're getting robustish. I, this might have been last week, I don't remember. This is some anise hyssop. I've put it into these bigger containers. And I need to do the same with the rest of it, if I'm being honest. I don't even know where it went. Oh, it's right here. You can't even see it. Um. I need to do that. I need to do what I've done with these. What I've done here, I need to do with these. And same thing with the uh, black eyed Susans. But, um, these are zinnias. I pinched them. But yeah, everything's. I potted up the basil that I did. And I have more of it right here. My, my dahlias are kind of killing it. This one looks real nice. And this one looks phenom. So. I'm, I'm happy with this. And I potted up this dahlia because it was kind of getting, it's, you know, just see, you see its stem is just getting kind of wiggly. I didn't like that. I was like, I think you need, I think you need some stability. Maybe you need more room. Maybe you need space. That's what we always, that's always, always what we tell someone before I break up with them, right? I think you need space, but maybe it's true in this case. And then the seeds I planted last week. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. That's so exciting. <clears throat> I knew the squash was doing its thing because I could see it and I, would stare beetily in here and I knew so I knew the Nicotiana was doing its thing and I saw poppies coming up and the cosmos were the first thing to germinate I did not see the milkweed I didn't see the milkweed had germinated that's so exciting OMG so I think I might have I think I hit everything I said I was going to last week well, I think I said I was really just going to focus on pruning and give a seed update. So I pruned. I did prune. If you thought I was ruthless with the lavender, I was doubly ruthless with my hydrangeas and my roses in my front yard. They're a little bit more established than everything that I have in the backyard, though, because that stuff's been there since, I think, August of 2022. But anyway... Yeah, I was really ruthless in the front yard. I was I was pretty I was pretty ruthless with the uh, with the lavender. We'll see what happens. I you know, it, it, we'll see. We'll see. That's kind of how I am as a gardener. I'm kind of like mess around and find out, you know what I mean? Um I learn by doing. And sometimes I learn by messing up, you know? Next week. I don't know if anyone knows, but Taylor Swift released a new album. I'm not a Swifty, but I have friends who are. And this album has 31 tracks on it and the ones I listen to and also according to my friend one of my friends who is a Swifty said this album is too long and it's a snooze fest and quote unquote the artist needs to figure out how to 
kill some of her darlings and maybe not put every track on the album that she writes. That was enlightening to me as a gardener. I'm taking lessons from Taylor Swift's new album as a gardener. I think I need to, I think I need to cull some of my plants. If you've made it this far, comment below. Tell me if I need to just get it, get over myself and cull some of these, some of these plants and make room for more, um, because things are getting bigger and better. So yeah, it might kill me. I could, I might be able to kill some of the bunny's tails. I wanted to give, well, I still want to give a lot of these away. I still have fingers crossed that I can give some of them away, but it hurts. It hurts to think about. Um, so yeah, tell me below if I should call some of my plants and also tell me below if you have to call anything in, in your, in your growing space. And also do, do comment below too. If you do, if you have, if you're at the stage of where you're pruning your perennials and stuff like that, tell me, are you, are you like a bonsai pruner? You know, like how they, with their, you know, how they're like super delicate and intentional with their, with the snipping of the bonsai tree, or are you like me and you're basically, you're basically, uh, Freddy Krueger with plants when you have pruners in your hand. So tell me, that's what I want to know. All right. I will talk to you later. Thank you for taking the time to watch today.